This was my most epic Goodwill book haul ever. Right off the bat, I started seeing some books that were already on my wish list, like the rest of the Smoke and Bone trilogy. And then there was House of Hollow and Rule of Wolves. I started freaking out, so I ran to go get a cart because I couldn't hold them all. And right when I got back with my cart, I spotted one last stop. And oh my goodness, guys, right next to it was Good Girl, Bad Blood, which I've been meaning to buy already. And then I started freaking out because I found a first edition of Shatter Me, the out of print cover. It's so beautiful. Then I found some more books on my wish list. And then I found another copy of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I grabbed that for a friend. And then the X Hex. I just like, whoever donated your collection, thank you. I cannot wait to read all of these. I ended up leaving with like 21 books that were on my wish list. So I'm so stoked. I cannot wait to work through these. And thank you to whoever donated these. They literally sent me home with a box full of books. Come book thrifting with me. So my thrift store is split up into the main part and they have an outlet around back. And I usually don't find much in the main part, but today I did find a series of unfortunate events. And in the back, you just have the piles where you get to weigh them to see how much you pay. And I found two hardbacks of the Hunger Games Catching Fire. And tucked away underneath that was the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. And then I thought this Alice in Wonderland was just really pretty. And that's just a good book. And then I saw these and I thought, these all suck. Um, this is probably only cool to me because I live here, but this True Tales of Birmingham. Really neat. And then, who knew this was even a book? What a find, honestly. Then this is all that I got from the outlet portion. And then here's my entire haul, including a series of unfortunate events. These are all going to go into my local free little library. Come book thrifting with us. So I found The Seven Days in June, The Midnight Library, which I already have, Malibu Rising, which I've already read and have, and I loved that book. The Last Thing You Told Me, I already have. Verity, I already have. But I can't believe all these great books that we were finding at the Savers that we hit today. There were so many um, book of the months there today. It was crazy. Um, this cover was so, so pretty. I found A Man Called Ove, which I actually got from a free little library, so I didn't need that today. The Silent Patient, which I've already read. Um, Me Before You, I'm actually borrowing that from a friend right now. More Colleen Hoover, which I just could not believe. More Book of the Months. The Thursday Murder Club. And Throne of Glass. Come book thrifting with me. Books. 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 She's so gorgeous. I loved this one. Just finished this series. Queen Murray Lou. Should I read this series? Twilight. Renegades. Heartless. I've seen this all over TikTok. Rick Reardon Supremacy. Should I get this? Only the sequel. Welcome back to another book thrifting in New York City. I was here for just two days, so I had to visit my absolute favorite thrift store ever. It's called Book Off. It's right next to Rockefeller Center where the Nintendo store is, which is really important to know. And this is like a used movie, games, toys, bookstore. And what I love about this bookstore specifically is that they have a giant $1 book section. I spent like an hour deep searching through these titles so I didn't miss anything good. And look what I got. This was like that special edition for a dollar. <laughs> Absolutely. Haul coming later. Bye. Let's check out the book selection at my Goodwill. So I wasn't actually looking to buy any books today. I kind of just wanted to have the fun of like roaming around and seeing what they had. 
And as you guys know, when I go thrift shopping for books, I do not allow myself to buy books unless they're on my Amazon wish list. And I do this to prevent myself from impulse buying books just because they're cheap. Because a lot of times when I do that, those books end up sitting on my shelf for quite a while unread. I don't always stick to that rule, but today I did end up sticking to it, so I am proud of myself. They were also putting out new books right when I got there. I'll show you the carts, so I had to take a quick look at those, but I did not find any today. That's okay. Come Goodwill book shopping with me. And today's trip was definitely a success and filled with nostalgia because right off the bat, I spotted Delirium in the hardback original cover. Y'all, I love this series. It was so good. I haven't seen these out in the wild in forever, especially in the original covers. Then I found the last two books in the Wake trilogy. I've never read these before. The premise sounds really cool. Was stoked to find Wake. So now I can finally read these. Then I was literally stunned because there was El Kennedy's The Chase smashed in between some books in the children's section. Y'all, hot tip, don't sleep on the kids section. You never know what you're gonna find in there. So I grabbed all seven books for only $7. Not too bad at 99 cents a book. Spent my morning book thrifting and I had a lot of luck today, so let me show you what I found. The first two books I picked up I already own, so they're gonna be for friends. They're both by Mary McFarlane, Last Night and Don't You Forget About Me, which are romance women's fiction. And I found Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging. Remember this being a really funny read back in middle school, but I don't remember the story, so I wanted to reread it. Then I found The Immortalist. I have had my eye on this for a while, and I was eyeing it on Book Outlet. I was really happy to find it today and in hardcover. Another one I had been eyeing is A Season for Second Chances by Jenny Bayless. I believe is like a cute, cozy holiday read. Next Next pick is not my usual genre, it's The Silent Patient. I've seen this one on Book Talk a lot, so I was happy to find it today. And lastly, another thriller I picked up is I Found You by Lisa Jewell. That's everything I got today. I was book thrifting for the third time this week, as one does. I found the fiery of the orange tree. It's very well read, and the font on the cover is fading, but I don't mind. I don't even know what it's about, but I've seen it everywhere on Book Talk for months. Is it worth the read? I've had amazing luck at my thrift store recently, so let me show you what I picked up. Whenever I find books that I already have that I know friends would love, I do pick those up. So these four aren't for me, but I want to show you guys anyway. The first one is Public Relations. I actually recently got this for myself on Amazon, and I'm kicking myself for that. But one of my friends would absolutely love it, so I had to pick it up. Next is One Day in December by Joseph Silver. This is actually it's such an early copy. It doesn't even have to be Also by Joseph Silver, if you like to play a bird, I also bought this for and again, I'm kicking it off. And lastly, Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. Now onto the ones I got myself. First up is Our Stop by Laura Jane Williams. I've actually read this and I do have this book already, but this is the UK cover and I loved it, so I had to pick it up. Next is You Were There Too by Colleen Oakley. This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. Simmer Down by Sarah Smith. I'm so excited about this one. It's written by a Filipino author and the main character is Filipino, so I'm really excited to read this story. The Windsor Knot by S.J. Bennett. The First Time I Saw You by Emma Cooper. The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Lisa Dickinson. Love in London by Ellie White. I believe this is an indie author. I couldn't find the publishing house listed anywhere on it, so I think this was an Amazon release, so I'm excited to give this a read. Maybe One Day by Debbie Johnson. And lastly, The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. Also such an early copy that there isn't the Reese's Pick sticker on it. And that's everything I got. Let's go little free library hunting. I did an unhaul, but I decided I also wanted to bring nine perfect strangers to trade in. So here we are at the first one. I've been here a number of times and have never found anything that I liked, so I don't know why I keep coming back, but I just always have a little bit of hope. And on to the second one where I made a big mistake. I saw the copy of Under the Whispering Door, which I have the first in the series, so I wanted to finish it out. Um, and this one looked pretty much brand new, so I picked it up, but I didn't notice that the push by Ashley Audrain was off to the far left. I thought this next one was super cute. I love the blue paint and it had a little Easter egg in it. I thought this was a sign because I saw all the missing girls in my library sale the other week and now here it was, so I left the last anniversary in its place. 
And is it a little free library hunting trip without seeing Nora Roberts or John Grisham? Probably not. And as you can tell by the time I spent searching this one, I did not find anything that interested me. I know I'm way behind the times on this one, but I was one of the few that has not read Gone Girl yet, so I figured I would pick it up, and I left after I do. And then I saw The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I've heard nothing but good things, but I'm not really a fantasy reader, so I'm interested to see if I like it. And because I'm insane, I went back to that second library I went to to get the push and left little fires everywhere in its place. And here's the haul.